Hello everyone and welcome back to another video here on the channel. Now today guys, what I have for you today is a Lego clutch, but not just any clutch, a high torque application clutch. Now, this specific clutch can handle a lot of torque from anything really, um, like a vacuum engine which um, provides a lot of torque. And it can be stocked with a Lego motor and as you can see, I hold this side and the other side and they do not turn. So um, yeah, it does have a engage and disengage lever here and the clutch pads are on this side and they activate and grab together and transfer the energy. Now this particular design or at least this part um, uses a kind of like hub sliding design for the moving part of the clutch. Now this moving part moves the second clutch pad here to um, transfer the energy. And as you can see, when I move it, it moves this axle in the middle here and it transfers the energy. So when it's disengaged, this can still turn freely. And when it is engaged, you can turn it and the uh, power goes through just like this. Now, the input can be from either side as well. So you could have your engine on this side or on this side, does not really matter. And it will work the same way regardless. Um, but anyway, um, what I have going on today is I'm going to be running this thing with my vacuum engine over there. To really prove to you that this is a very high torque clutch and that it can handle some pretty high speeds. Um, so without any further ado, um, I say we get right into this. And also, if you haven't noticed, I got myself a new tripod. So that's why the footage has not been shaky. So uh, yeah, without any further ado, Let's get straight into it. So um, here we go. I'm gonna try and get a few different angles so that you are going to get a very good idea of how I, um, or how this works and how it functions. And yeah, I'll probably get a close up of the actual clutch engaging and disengaging to show you. And to simulate the weight of a car or whatever, I have the bigger flywheel here on this side. So uh, yeah, let's turn on the vacuum and get this started. So you have to start with the clutch disengaged and at the end it will start, as you can see. So I'll try and As you can see with the clutch disengaged, you can Rev it as much as you want. Sometimes it does have issues starting because of the if it's not aligned properly. But um yeah. So how you how you work this is you give it a bit of gas and you let the clutch out. Just like this. Now it's disengaged and that will stop and the engine will stop spinning. So uh, you know, let's do that again. As you can see, if you start it from a low speed, it actually will stall the engine. So uh, yeah.
grab the output side, output side and show you how this handles the high torque. So if I grab it like this, it can stop the engine, even on full throttle. So as you see, there's no slippage and it stops the engine right away. So yeah everyone, I hope you all did enjoy this clutch showcase. I will be making a transmission for this, um, probably a 3-speed as that is all I really have the pieces for. Although I do plan to be getting the um, actual clutch shifting rings, the Lego things, so I will be making probably a 4-speed with that in the near future. But um, yeah, I'm probably going to make a 3-speed to go in um, unison with this um, um, clutch so yeah you can expect to see those videos within the next week i do try to upload on tuesdays and fridays or tuesdays or fridays rather um but yeah stick around for the next video that's gonna do it for today i hope you did all enjoy and i will see you all in the next video see ya